cottagey friends. Well, welcome to my channel, Shane Brick Cottage, and my name's Lorraine. I'm so glad that you're here hanging out with me in the hen den today to uh, let me share my stitching nonsense. It, I'm like, I'm like surrounded by piles. I just need to get it under control. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, this is a channel primarily, well, I primarily floss too. There's more cross stitch videos than there is quilt videos, but um, I, my my rotation's kind of been like every other video, one's cross stitch, one's quilting, and I post about once a month. Uh, well, twice a month, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm here when I'm here. <laughs> so uh, I'm like a weekend warrior. <laughs> If you like what you see, please like like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as one of my uh, stitchy friends. So if I haven't already said, it's Easter weekend. Happy Easter. Um, I'm looking forward to a, a nice, rest, restful, peaceful, blessed weekend. Uh, today will be a little bit of a busy day. One, doing this floss tube. Two, getting groceries and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so what are you guys doing this Easter weekend? If you're watching now, I guess you're watching Floss too. <laughs> I hope to do a lot of sewing too as well. Um, my plan, my list is very long and uh, we'll see what I can get through this weekend. Um, I did take Monday off as a floating holiday. Uh, Steve has it off as well. So that'll be really nice for us. Um, speaking of Steve, he's out of the house this morning. His, one of his best friends is home from Florida. Uh, they have a house, they have a second house in Florida that they go to for the winter and then they come back here. So it's springtime. So they're back and they, him, well, yeah, him and another buddy, uh, are going to, I think it's called, I don't know where they're going. Palm, Palmyra maybe. Anyway, there's a rabbit shoot today. They don't actually shoot rabbits. They're shooting clay targets that run across the ground and look like rabbits. So it's the bunny shoot. And they're like super excited. So I thought I would use this time to, to talk to you guys, my friends. So let's just jump in. Um, I don't even know where to begin. I do know from pulling everything out, I, I, am a, I, need, I need some bags. I've got like a serious like bag shortage issue where I need to stitch faster and empty out bags. So, um, so let's just jump in. Let me just grab something here. I'm gonna just start with the pile. So this is the first pile in front of me. This here was just a new start for me this week. It, you know, we've had a little bit of spring weather. I was feeling springy. This is so pretty. Um, here's the colors. I'm using the called for DMC. And um, I think it's called Jardin Privé, uh, basically Lady of the Spring, I think is what it translates to from French. My French is not so good. I had it in high school and in college, but no good, no bueno, no bueno. There's some Spanish. So um, I am doing it on a piece of 14 count fiddler's cloth, which um, I ended up dying after I got some stitches into it. So I started up here in the corner and when I got to this little white flower, I couldn't see it because my fabric was too light. It was like that light oatmeal-y kind of fiddler's cloth. Um, so what I did is I put it, I did a Chelsea, Chelsea and Priscilla, I coffee tea dunked it. And then, um, and I left the stitches that I already had in, except for the white. I unpicked the white and just had a little bit of the branch and some leaves in already. And then I also um, added a little bit of writ dye, um, the color caramel. And I like it because I can see the, the white now and this blue on here. Oh, I love that blue. So, um, you start, yeah, I started on the 26th of March. Uh, yep, there's just really nothing fancy about it. Everything's to called for. I love this. Even though this is a bigger pattern, it is stitching up so fast. Let me tell you what this blue color is. I think I found a new favorite blue. This one is... DMC 597. Beautiful. So this project needs a bag. And when I get to the pile <laughs> underneath this pile, I have some bags cut out and I have a really cute fabric cut out for this one. 
So let me just sit this over here out of the way. Uh, yeah. And I've also, you know, I've been using the Lori Holt planner. And before that, I used the Back Quarter Shop cross stitch book to keep track of my, my whips and everything. I liked the planner, but I think I like the, the other It's So Emma book better. Um, I think I'm going to switch back next year or I guess whenever these run out, because these will last me a long time to the, the other one. And then I'm really loving the project cards because I'm keeping them in the bag with the item and excuse me, itchy nose. And in my haul, I have a little box. And I'm going to show you that I got to put these in when they're finished. Um, I thought that I was going to keep it in this, this big binder and do like some pictures with that little sticker camera I got for Christmas. The sticker camera that I received, that I purchased was a Kodak and I don't recommend it at all. It was horrible. I could not get a good picture to print out of it. Um, and I don't think it was me because I, I, I tried multiple different ways and it just wasn't working. So I think I'm going to scrap the whole picture sticky, sticker thing and just pen and paper. So, so that that was a new start for this week. Let's talk about a whip that I have had for a little bit. I haven't been working very much on this one. Praise the Lord and pass the pie. But I did work on it some this week. And I have made some progress. Slow, but progress. Here, that shows it better. And the reason why it's slow, I suppose, is because of this up here it's it's a little a lot of changing of colors and whatnot and then i got off a stitch so i fudged it right here but um and these will come out these were just my counting stitches so i knew how far to go down on the fabric really like this pattern i love the color palette it's like a warm fall cozy color palette it has dmc weeks gentle arts classic color works so it, it hits all the bases there for, for the called for colors. Um, and I know I'm probably not going to like stitching this. And I'm stitching it because our family does pot pie every month. Um, we used to get it from the church, which, um, you know, Steve's family has been doing for literally generations. And now some of his family members we have taken to making it ourselves. So that is why I'm doing that one. Then this one here would have been a finish, but I ran out of floss. Isn't that how it goes? So I have more in order. I don't know. Let me see if there's any cover art. Yes, there is. So this is an Emily Call pattern. I am brave. And I am, and that is, this one is on an 18 count. Yeah, it says 18 count Ada Zweigart Vintage. I know this was from Hobby Lobby. So it's like a gray swirly fabric. And the floss I cho chose to stitch mine in is Classic Color Works Cauldron, which is like a grayish purple color with a, a good bit of variegation. And um, I just need another skein of it to finish up. And then, um, and look at the nut, like I got way off here. Look at my margin. I have little here. A lot here and then even I'm uneven centered I think I just wasn't paying attention because usually I just measure in about two inches from the corner um, and, and start and I just clearly wasn't paying attention but I'm gonna have enough room I don't know if I'm gonna finish this um, as like a little you know like a little stand up something like this to either put in here or put out in, in my office at work or if I'll do like a little pillow. I think I'm leaning towards like a little stand up of some sort to remind myself that I am brave. I can do hard things. And this was a stitch along with, well, kind of a loose stitch along with Felicia from Mouse Potato Designs. Um, hers is really pretty. I am, if I remember correctly, she did more of a, a purpley color. So check her out if you haven't seen it, it's really pretty. So let me throw these back in this bag. So those are some whips. And uh, I know for sure that I Am Brave will be finished ASAP as soon as the floss gets here. 
Then this one is a another width that I carried over from last year, which will get carried over again. Really pretty pattern. Very, very pretty. A little challenging for me because this border and then all these flowers is a lot of confetti. So let me show you where I'm at. I'm sorry. The curtains are open in the bedroom so they can see if anybody walks by the house. I should have closed them. If it sounds bad on playback, I will stop and pause the video and restart. So here we are. Here's my March sampler. I don't know if I'll work on it anymore today or if I'm done with it for the year. I did make some good progress when I did work on it. Um, this is on a piece of 14 count Fiddler's Cloth Ada that I dyed myself with, um, oh shoot, probably some green writ dye, some gray writ dye. I've got a, maybe some tea, maybe some coffee. I don't know. I was trying to dirty it up so the white would pop. And it looks pretty good. I don't know why my nose is so itchy today. It looks pretty good on camera. In person, I wish it was a little bit more, a little bit brighter. The the stitching, not the fabric. But I like the fabric a lot. I like that kind of, I don't know. Let me pull the needle out of this one just in case I don't stitch anymore. I don't know what you would call it, that mottled look, mottled look. So let me put this away. <sighs> See, I'm just, just all over the place. All over the place. Let me set this down here out of the way. Uh, I do have some finishes I'll show you. And let's see, I have one other, here's another whip. I don't think I really worked on it. I don't remember what I showed you. It's the Laundry Today one. Just, yeah, it's embarrassing. That's it. Laundry Today or Naked Tomorrow. I don't think there's cover art. It was just like one of those Walmart little dimension type kits. Oh, here's the, here's the cover art. So that's cute. If you like it, it's readily available at Walmart. It's just in their section where they have the DMC. Now the big news is I'm gonna have a, a new big start, a new big girl start with a, ha a hashtag and everything that a stitchy friend and I came up with. Um, my stitchy friend, I'll um, tag her here in the video, I guess, at the bottom. I'm not very good with that stuff. Her name's Kelly, Kelly H, right? Kelly, Kelly, yes, Kelly H. I'm just, and we're gonna stitch this beauty from Teresa Cogert, Cogert. Words are hard. So sacred and our hashtag is hashtag TK. Sacred cross stitch. So if you'd like to join us, we're going to start tomorrow on Easter and there is no plan to finish by a certain date or anything like that. Um, Kelly said that she's a slow stitcher. You guys know I'm a very slow stitcher. Um, so it, it'll take a while. Here's the colors, very rich and warm. Uh, I got these, these are new floss drops for me. Oh, these were also on my Jardin Privé um, floss. These are from Team Egner on Etsy. Really, really nice quality paper floss drops, but like nice, nice, nice. I just picked these ones that were like vintage sewing. And then she did put like a little pair of scissors on the floss ring. I do have um, some floss bling coming from Sophia Violet for both Sacred Heart and the Jardin Privé. And I also have fabric cut out for a bag for this one as well. I'll show you that. But here's the pattern. It's very beautiful. And if you'd like to join us, we would love to have you. Um, just use the hashtag so we can um, work together on it. And the hashtag again is hashtag TK. Uh, let me look down. Sacred cross stitch, TK sacred cross stitch. 
So I'm really excited about that, that she had said that she would like to start that together. So we're going to do that. And then, so that's what I've been working on. Um, let me show you what I'm going to add, bring back from last year's whip pile and what I'm going to start adding. So I'm a seasonal stitcher. Works best for me. I pulled this guy out from last year. He needs a bag too. And I have the fair on my mind because I am probably about 90 days out from our local county fair, South Mountain Fair. And so, um, and I'm gonna enter some things again this year. Last year was my first year and it was so much fun. So I'm gonna do that again this year. So anyway, I have this cross stitch pattern by Little House Needleworks. State Fair. And this is where I left off last year. So I made great progress. Um, so I, I'm gonna add that into the rotation for, uh, really probably for now until, until, I don't know, when, <laughs> I don't know when. Spring, summer, probably until fair time. And if it's not done, then it'll get put away for next year. So I really like that one. And that was just um, 14 count Ada and the called for DMC. Here's another oldie but goodie that I really enjoy working on. Um, I love this little charm too I have on the bag. Zipper pull. Lori Holt, like covered wagon. This is a stitching with the housewives. Uh, what did they call this? Month to month. This is the April barn. Colors are just gorgeous. Where are they at? They're just a mess, but here they are. So classic color works on a piece of 14 count Ada. And um, let's see if there's a picture of it here, a finished picture. And that's what it's gonna look like when it's done. Uh, April, it just, I, well, one, it's going to be April. But two, my mom has all these beautiful daffodils blooming right now at her house. And my brother who has passed away, his birthday was in April. So I'm enjoying this stitch. It makes me think of him. It makes me think of my mom's house and her beautiful flowers. Um, my mom is Gigi. If, if you're new here, Gigi lives next door. So uh, anyway, so that's that one. Very pretty. I can't wait to get back to it. And this was also in the bag and I haven't started it, but I guess maybe that's why it was in the bag. I was thinking about starting it. And maybe I will. It's Tulip Farm by Stitching with the Housewives. If I do stitch it, I think I'm going to remove the large tulips and the ones on top of the barn um, and probably just remove all of this and just add some smaller tulips here just do the pink barn because that's that's the part that really uh, appeals to me is the pink barn and the little flowers so you know just make it your own so and it looks like i already have some colors pulled and i even have a piece oh i did start it here it is <laughs> amazing what you'll find well, holy moly, that is rocking and rolling. I'll have that one done hopefully soon. A another new small. Yeah, and that's on a piece of navy 14 count Ada. Awesome, isn't it awesome what you find when you go through your older bags? It's like such a, it's such a gift to, to yourself. So let me throw those there. And I'm gonna set this on the floor so I can get to the pile. Here is the piece of uh, Fiddler's Cloth that I'm going to use for Sacred. My Sacred's going to end up being on 14 count. Um, I don't, don't hold me to it. I want to say it's going to be like 15 by 17 ish. So I needed a bigger, a larger piece. All the colors are dark, so I think it'll look good on this. I just got to pull it out of the tube, measure out the piece I want, and um, zigzag the edges or serge the edges. So that is why that was laying there. Let me also show you the bags that I have cut out. They are going to be, if I say so myself, very, very pretty. Let me pick them up without messing up my layers. So these are going to be um, cloth fully lined bags. So this is going to be for the garden one, the Jardin Privé. It's a piece of um, poppy cotton fabric. 
And then this is um, the back and the lining is going to be a piece of Waverly um, home deck fabric that I found at the thrift store. And the bag, the zipper part is going to have that on the front. And here's the pretty zipper. I had a really nice pink zipper from, um, I think this is Hobby Lobby's brand. And this ribbon I might also use on the zipper part of the bag. It's like a, it's kind of getting blown out. Let me lay it against something here for you. A little pink with white polka dots. So I think that's definitely on my plans today. Um, instead of like um, hunkering down and starting the stitch, I think I'm gonna start making these bags because I really like pretty bags and I kind of need them too because my whips, <laughs> my whips keep growing and growing. But you know what, it's okay. It's okay, I'm really enjoying, I'm really enjoying my hobby life. It's really nice. I hope you guys enjoy yours too, because it is just such a blessing. And then speaking of blessings, um, the sacred cross stitch I'm going to do, I got a Lori, or not a Lori, um, a Teresa Coger, oops, um, fat quarter bundle, hip hip, is it hip hop hooray, hip hop hooray. So I cut that out for the front of my bag. Um... Uh, this, oh, this is going to be the back of the bag. So since I had a fat quarter bundle, I didn't have a lot of one print to do the bag all in one print, but that's okay. Then I'm going to use this as a lining in the front. And then I'm going to use this for the lining in the back. And let me show you, this is the fabric that's going to be next to the zipper. I just have a white zipper pulled um, from my stash. Nothing special. And then let me show you this. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not as decorative trim by the zipper. I have a large spool of this um, like twill tape that looks like a tape measure. And I know I bought this a while back on um, probably Etsy or Amazon. I'm sorry, I don't know for sure. But here it is if you're interested in it. And there's a SKU number. But it's really, really nice, nice tape slash ribbon. Um, it's called Antique Ruler Twill. It was 25 yards. So I'll own it a long time. <laughs> and then another bag, the last bag here in my pile that I'm going to make. I'm going to make two of these bags. Sorry, I moved the camera. Now, um, my birthday's not until September, but I do have a September stitch in one of these bags somewhere. And I purchased this fabric to make a birthday bag. And I did purchase enough, so it's the front and the back is going to be the same. So there's the front and the back. Isn't that cute? Um, I want to say maybe Michael Kaufman fabric. Uh, an Etsy seller online had it. And then let me show you. This is going to be my, my contrasting fabric I'm going to put up at the top of the bag for the trim. Some blue um, gingham that I think, let's see. Oh, it's a Riley Blake design fabric. There's some of the selvage. I'm pretty sure I got this in a little bundle from Primrose Cottage. And then I have two zippers picked out. I'm not sure which way I'm leaning. I have a just a regular white, a regular blue. White's 14 inches. The blue's 18 inches. Um, I think my pattern that I use, which is an ad adaption of Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch um, tutorial, is usually 14 inches, but you can use you can always use a larger zipper and cut it down. So if uh, just a tip, if you didn't know that, um, if you see zippers on sale somewhere, uh, feel free to stock up and buy the biggest, longest zipper you can buy, and then because you can always cut it down. You know, if you buy a zipper that's too small, you're kind of limited. And then for trim ideas on this one, I'm not sure which way I'm going to go. I've got some of this really pretty blue rickrack. Or I have some of this ribbon I got 100 years ago on clearance, probably from Joann's. It has like little birthday cupcakes on it. So hopefully next time we get together, I will show you these bags and uh, let you know how they turned out. So that is the bag situation that I got going on. I have over here in this little pile, a couple more patterns, just in case I don't have enough whips that, um, so this one and this one, I haven't done anything with yet. And then I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put 
the Lori Holt one, the boss of your own quilt back in the back in the, the bin of patterns that are waiting to be stitched, but not up to bat yet. So I'm gonna put that one away. Um, this one here, I want to start, and I do have the Weeks Dye Works thread on, on order. Um, I don't feel confident in my color selection, even though it looks like it's a pretty simple color palette, but I really enjoy the way the designer, Stacia Nash, um, picked her colors, so I'm just gonna follow along. And the one I wanna do is this as a little, uh, shelf sitter and I'm gonna do it just like that like with a find a spool and has some thread hanging out it's adorable so that one I will leave in the active pile to maybe be started soon this month or so and then this one from Dirty Annie's that I got last year and I love it uh, it's oh honey I am that mom and it's like a mama hen talking to her baby chick putting her in place and this makes me think of Abby so much because one, um, the house that she grew up in, you know, our family home that she grew up in had, uh, I had chicken hen border in the kitchen and I still have a lot of hen and chicken type decorations and she, she just hated it. She was just like, I hate this, uh, you know, that's what a teenager is. I hate it. I hate it, mom. You So anyway, so it makes me think of her. And then also just like, yeah, honey, I am that mom. <laughs> you can't get away from I am who I am. And that's the way it is. And, you know, I love you, but that's the way it is. So it always makes me smile and think of Abby, which I miss so much. Her and Lil had time to come over this week. Um, Roman had some other plans and... I don't know. Oh, Tom had school that night. So, so the guys weren't around. So it's just her and Lil and we had so much fun playing. Lil is a doll. It also made me think of her. So anyway, when she left, cause Lil's two and a half, right? And she had a death grip, like on all the Barbies that I have here, the Barbies and the Ken dolls. And Abby is like, clean up, clean up. And like Lil's helping pick up all the toys and she's doing such a great job. But at no point will she let go of these Barbies. And, um, and so anyway, there was quite the struggle. Abby's like ripping them out of her hands and Lil is like, ah, and then she starts crying this big old heartbreaking cry. And, um, earlier in the night, I let Lil have a pair of safety scissors. Her and I sat together on the floor and I got out, um, a, not this Rick Rack, but some other color that I really wasn't going to use. And I helped her. You know, she was doing it like this because she's only two and a half. And we cut Rick Rack and she thought that was a lot of fun. So when her and mommy were fighting over the Barbie dolls staying because grandma's toys stay here. So you have them the next time you visit. Um, I gave her a piece of ribbon, you know, because she was back in the sewing room. So I don't even know where it's at. I gave her like a little piece of ribbon as a substitute for the Barbie. And she looked at me. I kid you not. She looked at me like this. Like no, Grandma, the ribbon is not what I want. I want the Barbies. So then um, we have a bunch of children's books. And so I just grabbed like Little Mermaid off the shelf, like a little golden book. And I handed that to her. Well, then that, that was the cat's meow. She was able to relinquish the Barbies and, you know, happily go home. She had a little package of strawberries I made her. She had her little Little Mermaid book. She was ready. Her and mom got out the door with no more tears. <laughs> so... Don't, don't you know? Oh, they're so cute. So anyway, so that's that. Let me show you the finishes I had. So I finished this. And this is this pattern here. And here it is. I did mine on um, a 16 count Ada. And this is a gift for Abby. Um, I'm gonna finish, let's see, let me tell you the, so this is um, the fabric was from Fat Quarter Shop, Cosmo Noble Gray 16 Count Ada. Um, not my favorite color, but definitely a really nice fabric to stitch on. I enjoyed stitching on this. Uh, I started it January 26th, I finished it March 24th, and I just used the DMC. I am, I found a rolling pin at the thrift store 
if I didn't find one, I had one that I could have used as well, a, a vintage wooden one. I'm gonna finish it. This is gonna be my backing fabric. I got this also at the thrift store. I think it was just a little bundle, probably originally from Walmart, somebody didn't use. I think that's gonna be my inside fabric. So it'll get fully lined, it'll get some Velcro sewed on it, and it'll go around the rolling pin. I'm not going to give it to Abby just yet because I think this is going to be one of my fair entries because it'll be a, a unique type finish maybe. And then it'll go to Abby for her house because she's an excellent, outstanding baker. So that was a finish. This, I, these ones I really enjoyed. So this one is, this one makes me think of Lil, my little Irish girl. And this one is Life's Life is Just a Bowl, March. I didn't do the March one with the little sheet, maybe next year. This little girl, I would stitch her again. That was so fun, so pretty. And um, let's see, it's just 14 count vintage country mocha Ada, called for DMC. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me show you one more time. Yeah, very pretty. Very, very pretty. So that's done. Let me put my little cards over here. And then this one was a lot of fun. This made me think of the Floss Boss and Cousins. So it's a Dirty Annie's pattern. Hey, Heifer. I did mine. Here's mine. So I got some fuzzies falling off here. This I'm definitely going to make into a little pillow finish. I shouldn't say definitely, but that's what I'm thinking. And um, I used, this is Witchell Pink Sand 14 Count Ada. So it is like a neutral that has it like a pink undertone to it. And then I picked my own colors. I used some classic color works on DMC. I used black coffee, snowball, ribbon red, Carrie berry, and then DMC 605. And that was a fun stitch in fast. And if I remember correctly, I was off one, one count or something somewhere, but I, I fudged it and it all looks fine. It balanced out. So those are my finishes. And then hopefully next month, I'll show you what the FFOs look like because I definitely want to get that done. So See why I said my room is kind of nonsense? It's crazy. Let's do, um, let me insert, whoops, I keep losing my battery life. I need to charge. I'm going to insert here the Pass the Stash winner um, from last time, which was this pattern by Tiny and Modern Sleeping Beauty, and then a, a set that's not open of Chantel's Bow Maker, to a set of them. So that'll go right here. Thank you so much um, for your comments, and I'm so glad it's going to a, a nice home. Um, speaking of pasta stash, if you've entered any in the last, like the last quilting video, I think I think I have two pasta stashes left over that haven't been claimed yet. Or, yeah, so just double check if you're interested in whatever it was that you 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 threw your hat in the ring for, I'm happy to send it to you, but at some point it'll just go back in the, the mix. So let me show you um, the last little bit, and if the battery lasts, I have a lot of haul. It's, uh, it's like, it's awesome. I was gonna say it's embarrassing, but it's not. It's awesome, it's a lot of fun. So let me just show you what I have. So I did make two Hobby Lobby online purchases. This is for, Priscilla and Chelsea's, um, I don't know what they're calling it. Is it a word swap? Is it, I don't know. I think the one that was just out had rabbits on it. It did not sign up for the pattern. And I'm not sure if it's a monthly club. I didn't sign up for them, but I'm positive there's going to be a couple that I like in the mix. And I wanted to have the board so I could make the pattern and finish it like they did. 
And then this one, like, you guys have to let me know what in the world I bought this one for. This also came from Hobby Lobby. It's a huge rolling pin. And then I'm positive it was a Stitching with the Housewives pattern. Because they're the ones that always give out the, the SKU numbers for Hobby Lobby. And I think it was just a big old pattern, long pattern that fit on here. And I thought that would look so pretty in the kitchen. But I don't have the pattern. I don't even remember what it is. But I just did add to cart when I was watching their video. And then... A few days later this arrived and I was like, what did I order this for? But I'm happy I have it. Um, it says that it was $14.99, but I'm sure at the time I ordered it, it was less than that. So so there's that. And I'm just leaving it in the shrink wrap so it doesn't get all boogered up. Uh, let's see what else I have. Just a, a, So my husband and I went to a new thrift store that we'd never been to. And they had this for $5, some 14 count black Ada. I picked that up. I got from Chantel's 141. I got this little package of wooden hearts. And I love hearts. Everybody loves hearts, right? I thought I love hearts. And I also thought they'd make like little cute, um, like the fill baskets or something with, or I don't know what, but I like them, so I got them. I got some finishing tape. I wanted to try that from her. And I also got these from Chantal. The, um, the templates for circles. That way for a circle finish, I can have a template that's, you know, really nice in diameter and help me make prettier circles. So I like, she has nice tools. I got this from the thrift store. So a little kitty cat comes off. He's kind of got some sticky glue on him. But I was thinking, well, I don't have it out anymore, that I Am Brave might look nice here. I don't know with this rustic ribbon if it would. I don't know, or maybe Hay Heifer. I don't know. But I got that. I thought that was nice. Speaking of finishing pieces, this is going to be, like, perfect, I think. So another thrift store find. These little picture frames. But I thought some of the smaller circle finishes for Christmas would look adorable on here. Dirtying up that Jardin Privé fabric. This was my first test. So this was just a piece of white 14 count Ada where I was testing out the coffee tea mixture and the caramel color writ dye. And I love how this one turned out. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it so very much. And I don't know the measurements because this was just a scrap piece. So I wasn't thinking ahead. But I might do that, um, this one on it. Because the white will really pop, I think, on it. And maybe just um, change out the the lettering. Looks like it's in brown, so maybe choose something different. Maybe do the lettering in red or something, so it'll look good. But I think those and those, will go. that'll go together well. Um, I got a couple patterns. This one makes me think of my father, um, who, who is deceased. But I know that's supposed to be like, a, you know, like a farmer. And he, he did um, end up having a hobby farm late in life. But the farmer snowman's apron makes me think of overalls. And my dad always, that was like his signature style, was a pair of overalls. Uh, so, so that's why I picked this one. I like snow. I like farm. I like barns. I love... Um, I love this kind of uh, Quakerish type stitching, and it just makes me think of my pops. So I ordered this one, and then this one. Thank you guys so much. I know that I had said that I saw this and I couldn't remember anything about it, and a bunch of you pointed me in the right direction. It's a Lindy Stitches pattern called Snack Bar. Is that adorable or what? And I bet stitching those bear bears are a little bit of a beast. That's a lot of a lot of brown there. But uh, I'm going to set this one aside, but I'm so happy. Thank you guys so much for pointing me in the right direction. I'm happy to have this and add it to my collection. Um, I, I know that we all joke about our stash and our haul and all of that stuff. Um, oops, there's the dogs again. But you know what? I got a lot of joy from having pretty things, even if I'm not going to stitch them right away. And I'm okay with that. I did get a couple zippers because here's one that fell on the floor. So again, 
you know, I'm just showing you, like, if you go to the thrift store, you can find, like, little crafty treasures. Brand new. This is not brand new, and it's a little janky. I need to clean it up. See the dirt on it? I just brought it home and threw it in the basket. And this, I'm going to pull out the recipes, but I think I'm going to keep my finished stitch cards in here in this pretty box. And I think that's going to be a great way. So I'll take my, you know, I'll put a blank one in the bag, fill it out. And then when it's done, when the project's all done, I'll put it in here. Then I'll have like a, a little, a little memory of what I did. A little documentation. And then I got, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm sorry, but I don't think this picture does it justice. The little cover art. So this is the um, Log Cabin Christmas by Little House Needleworks floss pack. And I needed some floss. And just like, and I think, whoops, I think Kimberly said that she is not going to, Kimberly at the Fat Quarter Shop says she is not going to use the called for colors. I think she's gonna change them up to reflect her style more which I'm sure they're gonna be beautiful and I'll probably be like, oh, I wish I would have done that. But I, I just jumped on getting the floss pack so I had all the colors I needed since um, not once but twice I ran out of Classic Color Works floss knot and have had to wait for it to come in stock for a particular project. This also, um, oh, shoot, 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 where is my note? I'm gonna be right back. This is this I saw when I was watching Floss 2. Um, also, Missy and Kathy from Two Needles Pulling Thread. Um, I think Missy said she, she got this and she's going to start it. But anyway, the reason why I'm mentioning it is not this pattern specifically, but they're going to do um, hashtag building block sal. And I think the idea is for all of us who have patterns similar to this where there's like blocks which is a lot of you know not a lot but little house needleworks has a lot of patterns that have like little motifs that you could stitch separately or put together to make a bigger one and so they're gonna so go to their most latest floss tube um it's hashtag building block sal and i when i start this one i will um use that hashtag i think it's gonna be stitched along with fat quarter shop i need to find out some more information I don't have my fabric yet. I'm sure I'm gonna need a very large piece because this is gonna be this is gonna be a big boy. This will be the biggest one I think I've ever attempted. Um, so this will be a lot of work. But I love I love the little wintry scenes and the log cabins. So anyway, so that's in my haul. I'm really really happy I got it, and I'm gonna join along. I got oh I got this to do some embroidery on. Have you guys seen where? Um, like on little kids clothes, I'll have like somebody you can buy on Etsy, like you type in a name, say Lorraine, and they'll put it on a piece of tear away. I don't know, like you'll just they'll send it to you with your name and you iron it on, you stitch and then you wash it out. So this is what they're using. <laughs> so I thought maybe I'd play around with that a little bit, like, you know. Oh, speaking of wearing things, look, I wore my sparkly, well, I wore my Chantel sweatshirt today, and then I put on my sparkly rabbit pin for you guys, and then, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, I got sparkly little carrot earrings, there you go, you can see them. So, then I got, now this one, I was a little disappointed, <laughs> I had a coupon, it was in Joanne's, I get floss, like DMC floss, that was on sale for 50 cents. And I had a 50% off coupon. So I grabbed this. Um, this is a great pattern. I'm not going to stitch it like this. I'm not into stitching houses, but I love all the little motifs, especially this one, throughout. And I thought this would make a, a cute master pattern to do a bunch of smalls out of. And it was 14 you know, about 15 bucks. And I was like, oh, 50% 50, 50 off. Well, oh, you know, and I bought a lot of DMC and I just really wasn't keeping track. And I get outside and I look at my receipt. It took like 50% off, not my highest priced item, but some other random $4 item or something. 
and it was really cold and windy that day and rainy and I just wasn't gonna go back in the store to be like no I want my seven dollars off this pattern but anyway it is still even at the full price it's a great pattern but you know me I like a bargain if I have that pattern then I have I know right it's so obnoxious I know I need to like have my my uh add to cart taken away this which is not clearly tomorrow's easter it's not gonna happen but i saw these on instagram so i bought them for from crochet a go-go so cute so stinking cute and then oh, could not pass this one up i got this with some floss i don't know if i need more floss but I love it. I love it so much. I can't wait to stitch that this summer. And then I got this for charm for my log cabin Christmas quilt, my blocks. You know what? I need another bag. So let me put these two things over my bag pile. And then this was at this little thrift store here in uh, Bonneville. And she posts online. And I saw it online, so I drove down to pick it up. Little sampler. Reminds me of the 80s with the huge mounted frame, uh, you know, not high quality glass or anything because of all the glare there like that. You can see it. And I just thought that was really cute and I wanted it. It was like a couple bucks. Then it does not end. Are you still with me? My iPad's going to die. It's out of time. It's just, uh, out of battery. So thrift store, another cross stitch book. Cross stitch book. One more cross stitch book, bunch of little motifs. Great to have in my uh, library of choices. And then last but not least, ew, came yesterday. Haven't even opened it. Gonna open it with me. I think it's pretty heavy, so I think it's fabric I ordered, which probably should go in the quilting floss tube type video, but let's just crack into it. And no real scissors were hurt. These are just Lola's paper scissors that Grandma says she can use. So let's see what we have in here. So I got Weeks Floss. So I'll have to see which pattern I order these for. That's something I need to do. Do you guys do that? Do you write down when you order like floss, like what pattern it's for? Because sometimes then I forget when it arrives. So I need to put that away, but yes, it was fabric. This I've been drooling over, drooling, drooling, drooling. It is to Grandmother's House by Riley Blake. Let's crack open the shrink wrap. I'm not gonna break the fat quarter bundle apart. I do not have a project in mind for this, uh, but the colors and the theme, everything. And I don't know if you remember, I got the little felt play set to make yet too from this fabric collection. So I don't have my glasses on, let's see. 27 pieces. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. If I never bought another piece of fabric in my life, I'd be like sad. <laughs> but this this is yeah. We're gonna have to find us something special for that. And then this one here is I was on the fence. It was in my cart, it was out of my cart, it was in my cart. And then like they like they nudge you that AI technology. Ooh, only two left, or whatever the magic thing was. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. So I got this cowboy fat quarter bundle. Like, love, love, love. I see, I, I know, I don't even have plans for it. I think I might make another baby bib for, um, for entry in the fair, because last year my baby bib that I made um, got first place. And I don't know, like, would it be wise to use the same pattern again and just different fabric, or if I should switch it up, because I mean, I don't know. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it. I think this would make a great like patchwork, use some of this fabric to make a patchwork baby bib or baby boy. 
even though I don't have any babies in my life, I can always give it away. So anyway, that was what was in this, this box. It was, it was pretty heavy though. That back order bundle's heavy. So thank you so much for being with me. Oops, I've moved the camera. Now I'm tilted. <laughs> Uh, I hope we're still friends after this video, even though like I'm a rambling fool that's just like ah, squirrel all over the place. Um, just let me recap. You probably signed off by now, but if you haven't, let me recap the um, people that I've watched this week. There's a brand new um, floss tuber, the Crow River Stitcher. Um, I enjoyed watching her very, very much. My favorites at Fat Quarter Shop, Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. Stitching with the Housewives, Priscilla and Chelsea. Missy and Kathy, Two Needles Pulling Thread. That's how I found out about that other sale. And of course, the girls at Sassy Southern Stitchers. There's more. Alba Stitcher, Farm on Highway J, Lisa from Little Annie Z and Mama's, Mama Z. And certainly that's not an exclusive list because I love me some floss too when I'm sewing. So I get to watch a lot of it. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed Easter. If you don't celebrate Easter, um, I still wish you much joy and happiness and peace and relaxation and um, all the blessings and comfort you find from your faith. You guys are the very best. I appreciate you so much. Bye.